The new 94.1 KTFN. What's up? I'm Nick and Knight in the studio with the legendary Sean Paul. Sean, yo, thank you for up? joining us, man. Thanks for the accolades, man. You're welcome, man. Welcome, uh, welcome to San Antonio. Appreciate it. Have, have you been here before? Nah, never been. Um, I think uh, we've probably been on a concert here a long time ago, but never Run been, never been on, on, on a type promo tour. I've never really gone out. I've been on concerts, yeah. Well, before you leave, you gotta try the Mexican food. I definitely, yo, you know what I tried last night on the way over here? Um, Cabana. Um, Taco Cabana. Taco Cabana. Yeah, it's a local, it's, it's a was hometown. Good. It was tasty. I liked it. Now, hey, now, what did you have? Uh, the chicken, uh, what what you call it? Fajita? Flo no, Fajita. Flauta. 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 So the, the yeah. rolled corn tortilla, yeah, right? I had that and I had um, country taco. Awesome. Yeah. Now, I noticed you uh, you lost the dreads and you traded in for the mohawk. Yes, sir. Uh, how do you like the new haircut, man? Uh, yeah, actually, I had it now for like a year and a half. But, I mean, I didn't have nothing promoting or an album out, so a lot of people didn't really know. But I had it now for like a year and a half. But, I mean, I, you know what I mean? It, to me, it's old. So, but have you to, noticed to a lot of people's like, it's, it's brand new, but... um. Yeah, it's getting a lot of attention. Well, have you, have you noticed <laughs> uh, that the, the women react differently with the mohawk than the dreads, or is it still the same? Um, Sometimes, like at first, a lot of women who find out are like, oh my God, what did you do to your hair? And I'm like, ladies, the hair's the hair, the man's the man, you know, come on. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now, um, uh, you're, you're originally from Jamaica. Do you still live there, or do you have a home here in the States? No, I still live in, in Jamaica, man. Um, I'm, 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 when I'm on tour out here, I'm, I'm in living within, in between one and two bags, three bags. Yeah, just like... Like, um, ch touring the world and doing my thing. Like, homegirl was asking me outside, w w have you enjoyed yourself? I'm like, basically, I'm just stopping in, stopping in. When I come back for, like, a tour, I probably have one or two days to chill out, some stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, it's been good. Now, I'm actually going to Jamaica this October. I'm going nice. on, a, on a cruise there. It's going to be my first time. Is there any food I should try? Anything I should look out for? Yeah. Put it back on it, bring it back on it. Give me the thing, pick up a one, pull up on it. Find it, trigger. Send it, chuck on it. Two more shots. He now has one in. Two girls, I'm ready to jump on it. Two to my word up. You can turn it up. But um, if I were you, you want to get in something really tasty, try oxtail. Oxtail okay. down there is pretty good with rice and peas. All right, I'm yeah. going to have to look for it then. Yeah. And um, now, I, I I saw that you uh, were on a water polo team growing up. Yes, sir. It's been a couple years since then, but uh, do, <laughs> yeah. do you still get into the water? Do you still swim? You still got some speed? Uh, last time I did that was about 2006. So, uh, you know, it's been it's been a couple years. Um, But um, to tell the truth, I, I, I just try to keep fit. Once you're water fit like that, that that's pretty much um you're pretty much out there. You just have to keep a level of fitness, um, and, and that's what I've been doing. I, I ride sometimes. I play basketball sometimes. And I heard you broke your knee playing basketball. Is that true? Yeah, <laughs> I, I did the same thing. I I, I ruptured my patellar tendon. Oh, yeah. oh man! I went for a layup and snapped and just yeah. Fell. Same thing. Yeah. I, I I was I was um I had a clear layup and then I was like nah let me beat homeboy one more time. I was like zoop zoop and I was like bam and. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah. I, I blocked the guy down, came back, uh, had a clear lane in the basket, knee gave out, and yeah. I would have made it. I got ACL, though, so it's the same thing, though. It's, it's just pain. It's nuts. But yeah. Now, uh, so you've been in music for almost 15 years now, probably yeah. longer. Uh, not many artists really stick around that long. Like, What can you say is your secret? Yeah, I mean, I mean I've been writing songs since um, 1994. Um, I, got, I got my first single out in 1996. I think what it is is that I love it. You know, I mean, I I love making the music. I love performing it. Um, a lot of people um, have have other reasons w which they get into the business for. You know, what I mean, um, to check it out. I think that's the first thing for me. I think that I I realized that first. Um, and so even on the days when to most other people that are doing it for other reasons, kind of like oh today's a boring day. I'm enjoying myself. I like making music. It's a passion. It's cool. Yeah. Now, um, on your Twitter page, in your bio, it says, uh, dance hall you always represent. Uh, wh what does that mean? It means I'm a dance hall kid, I'm always represent. Um, it's just like saying, yo, I'm from the Bronx and I represent whatever. You know what I mean? That's, that's what I'm, I'm always representing for, for Jamaica, Jamaica and dance hall. Yeah. I, the Jamaican dance hall is a little bit different than maybe what it is in the States. I mean, obviously you play music and go dance, but that's, is that y'all's version of a club? Yeah, um, we got clubs too. But, I mean, um, wh what our music started as. Um, way back in the day was that, you know, on the radio stations in Jamaica, they would only play big band music and, like, some R&B from, from the States here. And none of our music that we produced locally was being played on the radio, so we would go play it in the streets. And that's what it was called, played in the dance hall. And then the music started to evolve to become its own thing, became internationally famous as reggae music. And since then, we have a more clubby version. It's called dance hall. So it's like, it's from 
the place, but it's the music that evolved out of that place. I understand. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, uh, your, your latest single, She Doesn't Mind. Yes, sir. Um, I've watched the video, and I've never seen stewardesses that hot before. <laughs> like, I, I, don't know, I don't know what airline that was, but I got to book a flight there. Yo, believe me, I just got in a lot of arguments with TSA this week, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you ain't treating me like you're supposed to. And they were like, you think this is your video, boy? <laughs> so, um, nah, it, 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 we... Nowadays, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a drag. I and understand. so, and so I'm trying to like, you know what I mean? Just, just kind of push fun at it. I wish there were same stewardesses like that. And, um, and, um, TSA ladies. Yeah, no doubt. For they, sure. They, they, so, yeah. They're usually like a, um, uh, older, uh, heavyset woman usually. No offense to yeah, the right? heavyset women listening. But <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> but it's like, big, up, big up to our TSA peeps. That's right. Gotta take care of us. <laughs> Keep it safe. On the, and, uh, Shit. now, uh, what airport was that in? Or was it a set? Oh, believe me, I I got a lot of diff. Oh, uh, um, you mean the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the video was done in a in an airport in um in in uh where is it Long Island? Okay. So in that airport now it is like there's very little traffic. I don't know how come, but th it was funny though that they did have a little bit of, uh, of flights coming in, and so there's a scene in near the end where I'm standing on the on the on the um the the carousel with with the baggage, and there's people right right next door waiting on their baggage, and every time the director would yell cut, they were like. Oh yeah, yeah, nice take. <laughs> and I was like, I felt like I was at a little show, but it was it was funny. That, that's awesome. Now, yeah. uh, now, I, you seem to be a little more melodic on on this song than most of your other tracks. Like, what what made you want to get into that? Have you always been into singing? I mean, you've always been a singer. I'm yeah, sure, I think I think that uh, mostly I've been melodic. I think this is actually more singing yeah, than yeah. just uh, melodic DJing. Um, reason being, yeah, I wanted to feel more challenged on this album. Um, people who who are producing on this album are not my usual producers, so. You know, pop producers like Benny Blanco, um, R&B um, right now, urban legend like like um, uh, Rico Love, um, people like um, um, Stargate and and DJ Ammo. All these people are from different you know genres of music like R&B, hip hop, dance music, um, you know, pop music. So they are making dance off from their perspective for me, and that's why I think this album is real cutting the edge. Which is why I, I kind of um, named it Tomahawk Technique, the cutting edge. You know and I, mean? I feel like that kind of goes real well with the, the Mohawk, too. Yeah, it's my whole theme right now. And, and you know I mean, now, 2012, you know what I mean? Well, perhaps my favorite song we've been playing in the club, uh, it's uh, Touch the Sky. Ah, respect. Oh, my gosh. They got DJ be, Ammo. That's got to be the next, uh, the next single, I think. That's just my Yo, opinion. Yo, I'm, I'm waiting on it, man. Right now, um, we're, we're just testing out the waters. There's a, quite a few songs on it that's big um, that, that we, we want to see what's next, really. Um, this one is really is really um, breaking the ice for me. So big up to everybody who's on the Twitter and let me know about it. I'll retweet you and let, let everybody who uh, all the people who um, make the decisions. I'll let them see that. And, that, you know and that's mean? at Dutty Paul, right? Yeah, at Dutty Paul. D U T T Y P A U L. So what, uh, Dutty? What is that? What's the? Uh, what does that mean? Dutty's like saying dirty. It's just our our way of saying. Um, you know, in Jamaica we don't we don't say dirty. We say yo that Dutty. That so it's like hardcore. Um, it was a crew that I that I um, that I started to rhyme with, and so basically I'm just bigging them up. Dutty cup. When I said Dutty, yeah, it's like yo, Dutty's in the building. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Now I got uh, real quick. We go through ten quick questions. It's yeah. just uh, okay. Uh, favorite sport to watch? Basketball. Uh, favorite kind of food? Uh, I guess chicken and rice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's cool. Uh, favorite fruit? Uh, mango. Do you play any instruments? I uh, I dabble. Vegas Not or New York City? Oh, New York, man. And Miami or Los Angeles? Miami. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, favorite time of day? Um, favorite time of day, four twenty. There you go. <laughs> Con country, uh, the country with the best looking women. Wow, I I think it might be uh right pretty near here, like Austin, maybe. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect dancer. Uh, Nicki Minaj or Rihanna? Wow. That's a difficult one. I like the two of those. Got think pick one. I think I think I wouldn't mind if she doesn't mind if she doesn't mind. So that's, <laughs> hey, that's I doubt cool. they mind. That's all cool with me. <laughs> now, uh, final question: Best advice you've ever been given? Best advice I've ever been given. Um, um, when in doubt, kick it out. There you go. <laughs> all right. Hit, uh, so, uh, real quick, Twitter at Duddy Paul, and uh, any other website info you want to throw out there, real quick? Um, yeah, allshawnpaul.com. If you're interested to get the album, it's called Tomahawk Technique. You could go on it right now, check check it out, um, um, check out the singles, buy the singles, whatever. 
Um, at Dr. Paul is my Twitter. I'm, I'm on it day to day. I'm telling y'all, you know, w- what, what's on my mind. Um, Facebook, check me out on Facebook. Um, I just want to let people know that I'm also producing right now. So I got um, a couple of things on iTunes underneath Dirty Rock Productions. So if you go check that out, you'll see like, um, you know, material rhythm and a couple other things. Um, if you're interested to hear what that sounds like, go on YouTube and go check out Material Medley um, um, video. Sorry, Material Medley vid. And that's like a bunch of artists from Jamaica who have been producing. A um, couple of people who you might know from my albums before, like Cecile, Wayne Marshall, Tammy Chin, um, Mr. Vegas. And so, um, yeah, just doing that right now, uh, kind of music kind of taking a lot of my focus right now. All right, well, I want to thank you for stopping by, man. It's been a pleasure. It's been an honor to meet you. And uh, are you ready to go perform for some of our listeners Yes, sir. Here? All right. Definitely sure. It's a wrap.